and sip a little bit. Tell me what you guys think. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Uh, like minty, I think, is, is what I'm getting. I don't like my or Kind of cocoa-y, like Stan said, it's not quite double oaked. But pour it over ice, it gets real caramely. Like tobacco, you hmm. know, background to it. That and enough bite to make good old fashioned. I, I really like it. I feel like it's uh, really close to a double oak. You know, I get a lot of caramel on it, like you're saying. It's really viscous. Then on the palate, I kind of get like a, uh, just right up front as you first sip on it, almost like a bright fruit kind of flavor. I was getting the same thing. I was getting almost like an apple. Um, yeah. Like a green apple kind of thing. This one comes from... Go Big Blue Liquors in Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. The bourbon selection is pretty stellar. The guy that runs it, he's good old Kentucky boy, probably in his 80s at this point. Walks around with a pistol on his hip. Got a little beagle that runs around the shop with him named Whiskey. The guy I go to visit and help me had pit me onto this, and I think it's fantastic. So on their allocated shelf in the afternoon, they had a bottle of Latham's, and if I should pick one up, so... I reached out to Austin and said, hey, what do you know about Waitons? He's like, well, that's one of my favorites. I'll tell you, now that I have done all three, neat, ice, and <laughs> as a mixer, I liked it better on ice. Um, I actually prefer it neat. Um, I tasted Karen's, which had an ice cube in it, and that didn't cut it for me. I actually, I really like the nose on this one. Yeah, it's nice, right? You can just sit here and nose it and... A lot of people, very people. Is that a bourbon note, people -y? <laughs> <laughs> What do you guys think? You want to roll into this Indian single malt? Let's yeah. go. Uh -oh. No uh -oh. dailies? What? Oh. oh. Well, he Whoa. changed up from the mash to Mountain Dew. Unlike most single malt whiskeys that use two row barley, we use six row barley grown in the foothills of Himalayas in our whiskeys. We believe this huskier barley contributes tremendously to the depth of our whiskey's character. The, like a Welch's grape, white grape. You ever had that like Welch's sparkling cider? I get a lot of that on the nose. Another <laughs> one for me that I like neat better than I have with on the rocks or with the mix. I, I like it neat best. 10 of these were made available uh, as single barrel releases from the distillery. Three of those came to the US, one of them came to Ohio. I like it, but when I smell it, I smell fried fried potatoes or French fries, and I don't know why. But that's okay. what I smell. <laughs> hey, that's, that's your taste and smell. That's what it's all about. That, I think, I think it's still young. That's just me. I don't, on the nose, I don't, it must be the barley in it that is, like, really prominent. This style of whiskey is distilled from 100% malted barley, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right, so that barley note you're getting, that's, I mean... That makes sense, yeah? I like that subtle smokiness, and now that I've put it on ice, I do feel like it gets a little sweeter. Yeah, I think, you know, neat, you, you pick up a lot of the, the, the actual, like, malt, you know, grains, kind of like a dusty, not necessarily corn, but, you know, kind of like a grain forward, uh, a lot more so than, than bourbon. Well, Governor, you got a bottle there. What are the what are the numbers at the bottom that you have? We on three six of twenty seventeen, and it was uh, dumped on four twenty two of twenty two. My name is Alex Odenweller. I am um, my official title is the president of the Central Ohio Whiskey Society, and um, I was on the picking team. So curious to see what you guys what you guys think of it. Um, it is a product of the Jim Beam Distillery. Better make damn sure up front that you've got good, high quality ingredients, or you're going to turn into have a place where you're, you run into problems as you start to evaluate the liquid down the road. Nine years in this barrel, you get 100% of the color, 70% of the flavor. Elk Creek bourbon is patiently aged over an extended nine year period. You know, the true definition of a great bourbon is Knob Creek. A little more sweet than what I thought I was going to get with a rye. Kind of like nutmeg and a lot of like your. Uh... Like woody kind of notes. Yeah, you still get a lot of that bourbon characteristics. I'm definitely getting some pepper, but not not overpowering. Uh, it tastes really it's... close to like bourbon. Yeah. First and only 
private selection that uh, the collective has ever done. That's an Elijah Craig barrel proof. Elijah Craig initially was a very religious man. Students, when they hear that he made bourbon whiskey and he founded a Baptist college, will openly laugh. But they decided to proclaim him the father of bourbon because they thought, we'll just make a Baptist preacher the father of bourbon and let the temperance people deal with that. <laughs> and he decided to burn the inside of the barrel to get the salted fish flavor out of it. If I was asked to speak at a church and talk about Elijah Craig, the pioneer Baptist preacher, I would probably leave out the, the bit about the bourbon whiskey. I was getting caramel nodes on the smell. <laughs> a little partial on this one. Uh, I was on the pick, so uh, I really like this one a lot. I'm like really good caramel. Uh, it, you know, it has the heat, and uh, you definitely notice that, but uh, it's uh, a well-aged product. It has that caramel and that sweet, but there's a little bit of that kind of pepper kick. Notice that I'm liking the higher proof bourbons. Picking up some fruit, which seemed a little unique to me, but I really enjoyed the finish on this one. Doing some side-by-sides and they're more simple than they are different. As on the nose thing, you don't get that ethanol burn at that fruit point, which is odd. Usually you get, you can tell there's some proof when you're nosing something at that fruit point. The pick team does matter. You can, you can screw it up. I've seen it done, but this is well done. I'm a big fan of it. Every Elijah Craig um, barrel, or sorry, yeah, barrel proof throughout the years. Every one they've ever done, we had an opportunity to try them. And ours is not anything to snuff at. Like, it was on par with everything else that they had. I love it. Um, I mean, I've tried a lot here lately, and this is one that uh, got a little punch at the end, but the peppers, I definitely pick up the pepper. Caramel, sweet. Elijah Craig is just one label of the Heaven Hill Distilleries uh, family. It's November of 96, where they experienced the largest ever distillery fire on record. Until disaster struck, a wooden warehouse went up in flames. Unbelievable. I have never seen this much fire. The fire burned long into the night and still smoldered the next morning. What does that mean, level three char? Char is just the, the, the amount of time that that barrel spins in the flame at the cooperage before it goes to the distiller. Hey, have a Merry Christmas, my friend. Very good seeing you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. If evidence is anything, next year's ought to be even better. Merry Christmas to everybody. Yep. Merry hey, same to you. Guys later. Hey, cheers to all of you. Enjoy yes. your holiday cheers with your families. Everybody. And uh, I look forward to what the next year may bring.